a fundamental phase of the presidential transition program, the investiture of national honors begins as President Mohamed Buhari, flanked by the president-elect and their spouses, join the vice president-elect, state governors, members of cabinet, and the diplomatic hall, among other dignitaries at the state house. Under Nigeria's seventh consecutive democratic transition, this is the first time the process is driven under an executive order. There is elation as the conferment of the National Honor of Grand Commander of the Order of the Niger, GCON, is first bestowed on the Vice President-elect, Senator Kashim Shatima. And government signed secondary school from 1980 to 1983. And then the award of Grand Commander of the Order of the Federal Republic is conferred on the President-elect, Senator Bola Tinubu. Chairman of the Transition Committee proceeds with the second component of the two-part ceremony, which is the formal handover of the transition documents. We indicated it and we stated what are the quick wins, what can be deferred for the future. So this is a comprehensive document you are receiving this afternoon. It's a combination of the effort of the President Mohamed Buhari administration aligned with your vision for Nigeria. The president-elect who will become Nigeria's 16th president to be awarded the GCFR is not oblivious of the task ahead. I understand the meaning of the honor given to me today and the magnitude of the tax that awaits. Whether you go to the around or Nigeria or anywhere, <laughs> you expect knocks on your doors. We are determined, as enumerated, our security, economy, agriculture, jobs, education, health and power, and in all sectors, we must make headway as you've shattered the course. The people deserve no less. You said so. I shall not disappoint you. President Buhari undoubtedly feels a sense of satisfaction as he underscores expectations. You are the best candidate at the elections and Nigerians have chosen wisely. I equally extend my congratulations to the Vice President-elect. The challenges facing our nation are significant, and it is the duty of the President and the Vice President to address them with courage, wisdom, and compassion. We must remain committed to the principles of good governance, transparency, and accountability, as these are the foundations upon which our nation's progress and development relay. It has been an honor and a privilege to serve this great nation, and I am confident that Nigeria is in capable hands as we embark on this new chapter. I have run a good race, I have finished my course, it is now It is now time for another to take up the button. Now the president having handed over the three critical documents have also passed on the information that the ministries, departments and agencies will also pass theirs on for a smooth takeover. The president is explicit about his conviction that Nigeria will certainly attain new heights under the Tinubu-led administration. From the presidential villa, Gloria Omizuki, Channels Television News.